Hello there guys and welcome to Mad Doc Minis. In this video I'm going to do an unboxing for Oni Games. So recently Oni Games approached me about doing this video for them and agreed to send me the contents of one of their monthly subscription boxes. Here in my hands I've got the February 2024 Sci-Fi Crate. This subscription service is priced at £10 plus postage and packaging per month. So Oni Games have teamed up with independent creators in order to bring you this monthly miniature subscription service. Each month, subscribers to Oni Games will receive three 3D printed models from one of the independent creators who sell their designs physically through Oni Games. There are two crates you can choose from. You can go for sci-fi or fantasy if you prefer. The subscription also gives you access to a painting masterclass video produced by Transatlantis Games. They're the creators of the Two Thin Coats range. You'll also receive a 20% discount code, which will apply to all paints and brushes offered by Oni Games and to the creators featured in that month's crate. So let's see what we've got. The first thing I'm struck with is the presentation, actually. It's a really nicely presented little box. And inside we've got some bubble wrapped uh, miniatures there. So they're nicely protected. Uh, as I said before, you get three miniatures, and I've been told that these ones are actually from the Station Forge range, which is a, a sort of jackpot for me, because I quite like Station Forge. So uh, let's see what we've got. We've got quite a few components going on here, and I'm just going to sort through all of those, and I'll probably come back to you in a minute on screen once I've constructed them all, so I can properly show you the miniatures. And I'm going to put them together as they're supposed to go, with no conversion work, because I want to show you what you get. So first up, uh, we've got uh, this lady, this kind of uh, Imperial Guard woman, and uh, she's in a nice pose, kind of leadership sort of pose with a, a nice slender sword, a nicely detailed, kind of bit of a rough overcoat on and a pistol held at the ready. Yeah, very nice and would slot well into many Imperial Guard forces or maybe some kind of kill team. It's kind of begging for something like that. Also, these miniatures are kind of ripe for conversion as well. They're very easy to uh, chop up and uh, bend to your will. Um, so yeah, very nice one there. And I'll probably try and do something with that uh, uh, conversion wise. Next one is this guy. He's kind of like a mercenary type figure. He'd sit well in a kill team or something like that. Imperial Guard sort of look to him. If you painted him the right way, he'd probably fit into Acadian Force, no problem at all. Uh, the head is detachable on this one as well. So you could easily do a head swap on this particular miniature. He's standing on a little tactical rock there. And it's a kind of arrested kind of pose, just looking at uh, over the battlefield or surveying something or other. Um, yeah, quite a nice miniature and uh, not overly fussy. We haven't got too much narrative going on on the base either, which is something I tend to dislike. Um, so you can definitely imprint easily on uh, on those miniatures. And this one here is probably my favourite of the three, like a kind of commissar, very death core of Krieg looking. I think they call them Grim Guard in the Station Forge range. So he's got the gas mask going on there and the long coat, bolt pistol at the ready. Yeah, very, very handsome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw uh, a bit of an undercoat down on these and put some very simple paint jobs down on them. Tabletop standard guys, contrast paints and so on and so forth. Uh, just so you can get a, a better idea of where you can go with this kind of stuff. All right, so uh, bear with me and I will come back to you. First up is this uh, Imperial Guard or Kill Team Woman, depending on where your imagination wants to take you. I've used a very drab colour palette here, perhaps even a little bit too drab with that dark base. There's no colour theory going on on this channel, guys, really at all. Uh, I put a splash of colour on the hair and I even attempted the eyeballs on the, this one as well, which is something I don't normally do. And uh, yeah, nice miniature, really nice dynamic leadership pose. And uh, yeah, very kind of urban kind of palette I've used there for the for the colours. Moving on to the mercenary guy, I think this one came out a little better. Uh, so I've kind of gone for like a leather overcoat there, leather colour with green fatigues and uh, metallic armour. Mostly contrast paints with the exception of the metallics. And I've even attempted a, a little bit of stubble on the face as well. So I decided to have a go with a couple of things I don't normally do on these miniatures. Uh, as they're kind of one-offs for me. Uh, easy miniature to convert this one with that head being removable, so you could transform it with a basic head swap. So yeah, very, very nice and very versatile miniature, this one. So moving on to the Commissar guy. Um, I haven't gone for a traditional black, uh, as you would do normally on a Commissar. I've gone for red because I want him to slot into my Praetorian-themed army. 
and uh, I may well end up converting this one, doing a bit of a head swap, uh, but for now he can slot straight into the command squad uh, with ease. So uh, if you've enjoyed the content, guys, please consider liking and sharing, and if you're not already subscribed, consider giving us a sub. I'll put all the details of Oni Games in the description of the video, and uh, please join me again in the future. Cheers. Take care.